Statistical inference is uh, the process of deducing properties uh, of an underlying probability distribution by analysis of data. And uh, inferential statistical analysis infers properties about a population. That means uh, uh, that we include uh, testing hypotheses and uh, deriving estimates in this process. Generally, the population is assumed to be larger than the observed data. And uh, traditional methods are often tailored for tall and skinny data structure. In other words, sample size is larger than the number of the variables. However, images, both two or three dimensional, blog posts, Twitter feeds, social networks, and uh, in few words, big data, audio recordings, uh, sensor networks, videos, are just some examples of new types of data that do not fit this rectangular uh, model. In addition to this, uh, the data generating function of big data is such that data are often incomplete, selective and erroneous, despite to their volume, and massiveness high dimensionality and accelerating pace of big data combined with the risk of variable and systematic data errors require new robust approaches to data analysis and inference. Today data can be so large and complex that their properties often cannot be studied in a traditional way. To handle the challenges of big data, we need statistical thinking and new computational methods because many traditional methods that perform well for moderate sample size do not scale to massive data. And similarly, many statistical methods that perform well for low dimensional data are facing significant challenges and problems in analyzing higher dimensional data. So, we need to design effective statistical procedure for exploring and predicting big data. And we need to address statistical big data problems such as heterogeneity, noise accumulation, spurious correlations and incidental endo endogeneity in addition to the uh, balancing of statistical accuracy from one side and uh, computational efficiency on the other. In few words, we need a total error paradigm. Its specification makes the difference between, I would say, light processing of big data sources and their statistical usage to produce the reliable information also for official statistical purposes. So we need a statistical framework that allows researchers to distinguish between causation and correlation and thus to identify interventions that will cause changes in, uh, in the outcomes of the variable. It also allows them, the researcher I mean, to establish methods for prediction and estimation, to quantify the degree of error of certainty and to do all of, it, of this using algorithms Yes, that exhibit predictable and reproducible behavior. We need, according to us, a multi-source approach. That means that in official statistics we need to integrate different data sources, combined design-based inference, model-based inference and model-assisted inference with the so-called algorithmic inference based on machine learning methodology. A multi-source approach can combine traditional surveys with administrative data and also big data sources and this should in some sense allow to overcome usual, usual limits of each of each single sources. In particular the limits affecting big data and may um, allow the, statisti uh, the, the, the uh, scientific community to explore these limits. So we have not only to judge the value uh, of the p-values, but also to uh, understand how to tune an algorithm, how to have a training set to validate the algorithm, and then how to compare a test, uh, a test set with the results of uh, um, a goodness of fit test that we have used until now. So we have not to uh, 
assume implicitly that big data are a substitute for traditional data collection and analysis methods. I would say they, that they are a supplement to traditional data uh, collection method and also we need to integrate them with traditional uh, survey methods, uh, uh, methods of results, in order to study their quality and the issues related to this uh, quality. I would add also that traditional small data, I would say small data in quotes, might offer information that it is not contained or containable in big data. And the very factors that uh, have enabled big data are enabling more traditional data collection tools. Um, so information technology and new uh, tools in data collection, I think that may uh, give us um, big opportunities and we have to call maybe um, that the situation is a situation where we have a big data innovation, yes, but maybe it would be better to say that uh, now is the time when we can have an old data innovation, using data from old traditional and new sources and providing a deeper and clearer understanding of the, the problem at hand. And uh, as we have just said last, uh, uh, in the last conference of the Italian Statistical Society, we can say that uh, we can learn much more from big data following the same careful attention and error paradigm to the requirements of good statistical inference uh, than that we would follow with any other observational data set. We can indeed in this way uh, draw better statistical inferences by using big data as, as well.